All right, Tanya, let's talk a little bit about beneficial bugs. But first, what do we mean by beneficial? Well, a beneficial bug or beneficial insect is a, a bug that helps you reach your goals in the garden. Mm -hmm. Some of them are pollinators. We think of immediately our, our bees that are good <laughs> pollinators, so they're beneficial to us. And also we have a lot of bugs that kill other bugs that we don't like. Okay. So um, we have bugs that eat the bugs that would eat our vegetables. Okay. So you want to start with the braconid wasp? Sure. Right. Um, the braconid wasp is very, a very common thing to be seen in the garden, but most people don't know when they've seen uh, evidence of the mm -hmm. braconid wasp. Usually you'll find these on tom tomato hornworms sure. on your tomato plants. You'll see all these little white egg sacs mm -hmm. on the back of the caterpillar. And the braconid wasp, even though it's a wasp, it will not sting you. They're very tiny, like a, an eighth of an inch, so very small. The female lays her eggs on the back of caterpillars and moths, um, beetle larvae, and some aphids. And when those eggs hatch, the larvae eat the host, the tomato hornworm or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then um, after they are done eating, the bad bug dies and the beneficial, <laughs> the new beneficials fly away to infect more of your pests. So if you see a tom tomato hornworm that has all of these little white egg sacs on the back. You don't want to mm -hmm. squish it. Um, you want to leave it there so that it can um, provide food for those good bugs. You can also attract them in your garden by growing certain things like dill, parsley, okay. wild carrot, and yarrow. Um, in general, any kind of little, a little herb with small flowers, uh, those the adult wasps like to use for nectar. Wow, small flowers. I think that's pretty interesting. Uh-huh. Okay. Now let's talk uh, about green lacewing. Okay, the green lacewing, um, the larvae are the ones that feed on the pests. In this okay. case, they like aphids, mealybugs, caterpillars, scales, thrip, and white flies. So a, a lot, lot of the things yeah. that we don't like, they like to munch on. Right. The female will lay her eggs on a slender egg stalk, and she can lay about 200 eggs at a time right. on these on these stalks. And one larva that emerges from that will eat 200 aphids in a week. So they're called aphid lines. They're really hungry, <laughs> hungry guys. In a week? In a week, 200 oh, aphids. And Amazing. they will feed for two to three weeks before they go into a cocoon, and then five days later they emerge. Okay. Um, you can plant some things to attract them to your garden, like Angelica, Coreopsis, Cosmos, and Sweet Alyssum. And you can also mail order those egg stalks with the, the eggs. Okay. Um, so yeah, the green lacewing uh, are very beneficial. You don't want to, you don't want to spray those with an insecticide. And in fact, um, a good rule of thumb is, you know, when you spray an insecticide, you oftentimes kill the beneficials with the ones that you're trying to get rid of. Good so, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So um, unless you use BT because it's specific to caterpillars, but sure. if you use a broad spectrum insecticide, you're gonna kill all of your good with your bad. So you want to be careful in how you use those. Good information to share, Tanya. Good information. How about this next one though, a pirate bug? Yes, How about that? minute pirate bugs. Yeah. Kind of a fun name. Yeah, that's pretty um, fun. They're very small, uh, a twelfth to a fifth of an inch long. That's where they get the minute from. Yeah, very small. small, and they're black and white in color. The immature stages are um, very small. They're kind of teardrop shaped and brown and orangey colored. The adults and the nymphs will both. Um, be predators for thrips, spider mites, aphids, and their eggs. Mm. And an adult will eat 30 spider mites a day. So um, they're quick moving. They'll attack just about anything though, not just those particular pests that we like to get rid of. And the way they um, attack their prey is they have a piercing sucking mouth part. Mm. So they'll use that mouth part to inject into their prey and then they will suck the juices out of the prey. Yee. Yuck, but that's how <laughs> they do it. Um, they can go from an egg to adult in three weeks, and they have three generations per season. And this is another one that you can buy online. Okay. Um, and they're actually a really good uh, predatory bug if you've got a greenhouse, and they may be more effective than, than others. And if you want to try to just encourage them to come to your garden, you can plant goldenrod, daisies, mm -hmm. um, alfalfa, yarrow, mm -hmm. clover, and vetch. Okay. All right. So how about this next group of beneficial bugs? Spiders? Spiders, really? spiders, yes. Well, they're not technically an insect. We talk ah. about beneficial insects. Right. They're not technically an insect because they have eight legs instead of six, so okay. they're an arachnid. 
Um, but not all spiders build a web to, mm -hmm. to catch their prey. In fact, the ones in our garden that are beneficial, they hunt their prey. So we have uh, wolf spiders, yes. jumping spiders, and crab spiders. And the wolf spiders, I know every gardener has seen, they mm -hmm. live along in the leaf litter, in the mulch, and whenever you're turning your garden over, mm -hmm. or doing any kind of weeding, you'll find them there. They're kind of the large brown spiders with the stripes on their backs. Yeah, large. Yes. Yes, yes they are. <laughs> and they carry yeah. around, the mama spider carries around her eggs with her where she goes. And after her young emerge for two weeks, she'll carry her young on her back. Mm -hmm. And they um, hunt at night in the leaf litter. Um, then we have the jumping spider. <laughs> the jumping spider, even though they don't use a web, they'll use a strand of silk to tether themselves mm -hmm. to a leaf, and then they'll jump on and attack their prey. And then the crab spiders <laughs> have a lot uh, enlarged front front legs, yeah. and that's where they get the name crab spider from. Right. And they like to hang out on flowers and hunt for their prey from flower petals, and they can even turn colors, change colors a little bit to camouflage against the flowers. Oh, how about that? Yeah, not pretty fair. cool. Yeah, pretty yeah not fair. Not fair. <laughs> They're good it hunters. Pretty good. All right, so how about the praying mantis? We've all heard about the yeah. praying mantis. Well, the praying mantis are really cool they looking bugs. Cool. Um, of course, they get their names from their big front legs mm -hmm. that they use to grab their prey while they munch. And they can be um, really good at camouflaging themselves against mm -hmm. twigs and sticks and all that kind of stuff. They like to um, lay their egg cases in like this paper mache looking mm -hmm. thing. Um, actually bought a tree recently and it had one of these oh. egg cases mm -hmm. on it. So that was pretty cool. That's pretty and the egg case will have like up to 200 baby prey mantis in there. Okay. And you won't even know that they've hatched. You can't tell the difference when it, when, um, you can't look at the egg case and tell if they've hatched or not. You just have to happen to see a baby praying mantis <laughs> somewhere, and that's how you know that you've had a hatch. Right. So you can buy them on the Internet and put them in a greenhouse or in a garden setting, but you won't know if they've hatched or not unless you just so happen to see the babies. And these take five months to mature, and um, they can lay up to five egg cases in their lifetime. And they like to eat pretty much anything that will catch their attention. They're pretty slow moving. And um, yeah, so they'll grab anything, like another beneficial insect even. They'll grab like bees and other oh. praying mantis. So they're not real particular on what they eat. <laughs> wow. That's pretty tough. I've never seen a baby one though. Have I haven't either except oh. like on the internet. Um, you can like look up okay. video of these things hatching out of their egg case. It's oh. really pretty cool. All right, it's pretty good stuff. Yeah, so once again, folks, be careful when you're using pesticides mm -hmm. in the garden, right? Because we do have beneficials out there that will help us, mm -hmm. all right? That's right. Thank you much for that good information, Tony. We Thanks. appreciate that. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.